Welcome to IDB everybody, it is Andrew here. If you have been a viewer for a while, you may remember the Lofree Dot Bluetooth keyboard. It's an awesome mechanical keyboard that uses the Mac layout. Well, since then they have been at it, they have listened to everyone's kind of replies and comments and thoughts on their design and have fixed a few of the core problems that we saw with that first keyboard. Now this has definitely been a fan favorite, we've had tons of questions on it. it been doing really really well and we wanted to revisit the new version dubbed the four seasons version comes in a bunch of new colors they look super awesome I'm actually really in love with the color scheme that I got to test out and we're gonna go over what this keyboard is what it is in general how it has changed from the last version and whether or not you should pick one up for yourself just like the original version of this keyboard they are funding it on Indiegogo the first one got funded 20 times over or something and the new version is already doing phenomenal by the time this video is getting up it's in the mere hours left so if you do want to get in on that pre-order definitely check out the link below but otherwise they will be available after the, the indiegogo and you can pick it up from their website which will also be linked to in the description now this does work wired or wirelessly so it includes its own usb cable it is micro usb not usb c which i would have preferred Branding is pretty minimalistic with only a low free printed on the bottom of the spacebar as well as on a few other keycaps You can see other kind of alternate Keys for them for instance this is set up as a as a Mac keyboard But if you're using Windows you may need that Windows key It works with Mac OS and iOS as well as Windows or Android so you can just swap that switch there As well as turning Bluetooth on and off and of course you have the micro USB port to charge it up It sits at a really nice angle which makes it pretty convenient for typing and of course it has that round keycap and pretty much feels similar to a typewriter when you're actually typing on it. Now probably the biggest changes has come in the mapping of the keys and the layout of the keyboard. So here you can see the original one there on the right and the new one here on the left. So the original keyboard, the biggest change probably on the right hand side is that backspace key or delete key is now twice the size. So you do have twice as much space, it makes it a whole lot easier to backspace while typing. You can also see we have the command key and the alt key on the older keyboard that has changed. Now you have command, alt, and control all on the newer keyboard. The only other thing that I may have changed is making the shift key a little bit larger on the right hand side. Here you can see the newer keyboard, we still have a little bit of an oddness in the offset of that up arrow key. You can see we now have the three keys here to the right of the spacebar, command, control, and alt, and the double wide backspace button or delete key if you're on Mac. On the left hand side, another minor change, the caps lock key has now doubles in size. You can see on the new version, it is twice the size as it is on the older version, which was only a single key. So those are probably the biggest two changes, the caps lock key and that return key on the right, both have been updated. We also have really nice three level backlighting, so it works great in the nighttime or low light condition. You can still see through the key cap and see what you're typing. For anyone who's familiar with mechanical keyboards or switches and mechanical switches in general, you may recognize the Gateron Blue switches that are being used in this keyboard. They give a really nice feedback and feel when you're actually typing on them. It, it actually really does feel like you're typing on a typewriter almost when you're using this keyboard. They are very high keys, so going straight, jumping from my Mac to this, it was a little bit jarring at first. I mean, it took a couple days for me to get back into the swing of using a mechanical keyboard and getting my fingers a little bit higher as I'm typing. But if you're already coming from a mechanical keyboard, it pretty much should be no adjustment at all. This also doesn't just work with your computer or anything. Since it does connect to other devices, you can connect up to three different devices at once and jump between them, which is really handy in a modern Bluetooth keyboard. If you want to pick one of these up, if you're quick, you can still get it from their Indiegogo. Otherwise, you can pre-order for when they are shipping a little bit later. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe. Till next time. It's Andrew for IDB.